Hey, got John Riggs here. How are you feeling? Do you know all right? So far, so good. Spring now in the air. Got the allergies all up in your sinuses and all that. I no, trust me. It's like I never had I never had allergies or sinus problems or anything until I like until like late in my thirties. I was like, oh my god, seriously, this is it's gonna happen to me now, really? <laughs> After all this time. Well, either way, uh, if you're familiar with this game here, Golf Story, maybe you've played it for the Nintendo Switch. Digital, they also have the physical version thanks to limited run, um, maybe even available at your local Best Buy. And you're playing the game, a super, super fun game. Uh, it really is. And there's a game in there called Golf, which is like golf for the uh, NES, so to speak. But you're playing golf and you're just like, man, wouldn't it be cool if somebody made that game for the NES? And I get that question every once in a while, too. It's like, oh, man, can you make this game for the Nintendo? It's like, well, no, I don't homebrew games. I can hack games. But I can't homebrew games like that. But our good friends at Spoonie Bard Productions can. So here it is. Gal for the NES. It's a working physical cartridge for the NES. Super, super limited quantities on this from limited run games. I am... I, I promise I don't I, I don't mean to throw limited run games under the bus. I am a huge fan of limited run games and what they do. I have been familiar with them since like their second or third release. Um, however, this was almost too limited of quantity. I couldn't even get one. Fortunately, one of my friends, um, I'll, he can comment if he wants. I don't want to, I don't want to throw it out to him because then people might track him down and say, Hey, do this for me too. Um, but he bought two of them and then sold me one of his. So I actually purchased this game here. Uh, this is how about a round of golf for the Nintendo entertainment system. Um, in thanks to limited run games and does this say Spoonie Bard productions on here? Did I just throw them under the bus too? Just like, Hey, I think it's all right though. Well, it's from side. This says sidebar games, sidebar games. All right. Well, I'm I'm cool. You know what? Side. Well, sidebar games is part of them. So in collection and in collaboration. And um, I'll give them a shout out anyway. Shout out to Spoonie Bard Productions. They do awesome things for Nintendo homebrews. That uh, that Alfonso's uh, Arctic Adventure, super super fun game. I probably completely didn't even say the name right. Let's open this up. Let's play it for a little while. We'll go from there. I am very excited for this. Um, it's still sealed. I know there's like, no, 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 don't break the seal. Don't open it. It's like, well, dude, I can't play it if I don't open it. Right? I got this game to play. That's exactly what I'm going to do with it. The... Ah, come on. <laughs> now, this plastic is definitely reminiscent of the old plastic I remember. Where I had to, like, dig my fingernail into it, but I just... Did my fingernails not too long ago, so except for my thumbnail, I usually have that available. But boy, how cringy is this going to be? I'm actually going to have to get up and get a knife. No, here we go. I got it. I got it. All right, here we go. Yeah, I've never had a technique or anything like that to get it to open up. I just kind of work on it, and if I get too frustrated, that's when I grab a knife. How about a round of golf? Just love this. Very cool. Here's what it looks like on the inside. If you're wondering the color, got the white version. Oh, I like the like that a lot. It has a little bit of a shine to it too. It's cool. So here you go. If I were to open it up, it would just be a uh, flashboard. You can kind of see it, the yellow in there. Um, Infinite NES Lives, I believe, provided that. It has the styrofoam in there. It even comes with full color instruction manual. How to do it, how to play it. Works on your NES. Hopefully more games like this will come soon. But in the meantime, we're going to take this game and I'll pop it in right behind me. We'll play a little bit of a uh, golf here. Who? Uh, how about a round of golf? <laughs> Let's check it out. Here we go. Yeah, there it is, Spoonie Bard Productions. I knew they were a part of this. Based on a golf story by Sidebar Games. Made with permission. All right. Let's do it. And now, it plays like a, kind of like an NES golf game. Oof. I'll use the, uh, I'll still use that. Oh, you see that hook? Can't teach that. 
All right, those arrows are probably where it's kind of going, so I'm going to do like that. Oh, so close. Hey, you got par. All right. Here we go again. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, a naked crab. What? Ah, That's not going to count, is it? No. No, it's not going to work for me. All right, fine. I'll go this way. Dude. Keep on hitting that hook. A flightless bird. There we go. Oof. This is not... What? That's so weird. You know, I only do the power wedge here. I know it's not even in the sand trap, but... No, it's in the sound trap now. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. It only took me 14 holes. <laughs> All right, I'll do like one more here. Ah, perfect. Ah, what? No, I'm going to put this thing in. Watch this. Oh, I can't put it in. Now I can. Bogey. Neat. All right. Very, very cool. I love the fact that Limited Run Games is doing... NES games now. Um, this is their first. They're going to do Metal Storm coming out very, very near uh, in the near future as well. So Metal Storm, uh, they're going to have a unique uh, limited run version of it, as well as uh, Castlevania Games doing their version of it too. And cool to see what other homebrew games may be coming out soon from limited run games. I mean, if they can do this and they pulled it off great, then I mean, we will see Super Nintendo games. Maybe we'll see Game Boy games. You know, maybe we'll see Nintendo 64 games. You never know. You never know. So uh, very cool to have this in my collection. Um, and again, I thank you to um, the person who provided it to me. I'm going to give him a shout out anyway. Uh, Super Nintendo, super awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for um, you know, hooking me up with your spare copy of this. Um, fun to have. And looking forward to seeing what else Limited Run Games comes out with in the near future. And big time shout out to Spoonie Bard Productions. Uh, I'm going to link to them specifically in the description because they are coming out with new homebrews for the NES all the time. So uh, good things going. <laughs> <coughs> Couldn't even say it with a straight face. Good things coming from them too. I got to take a lozenge or something. We'll see. <coughs> no coughing on the golf course.